What's going on guys? It's Carl here and as most of you know, I am a pretty big car guy. So when I had the chance to check out the Shell Eco Marathon out in Sonoma in California, I kind of jumped on the opportunity. Shell has been one of my awesome partners for over a year now and we mostly do lifestyle stuff over on Instagram, but as the channel kind of blends in lifestyle, tech, automotive, and all the things that I like, there was this really cool opportunity to blend everything together as schools across America were meeting in Sonoma to participate in that eco marathon and they're combining skills of science, tech, engineering, math, those are all things that I geek out about and they're all around the same age that I was when I started this YouTube channel and and it's super cool to see how passionate some of them are. So we had a two day experience out in Sonoma Raceway, one of the most iconic racetracks in North America. They had a massive paddock where all of the schools were setting up their cars. They usually came a couple days before to fine tune their vehicles. There were schools like U of T that drove their cars over 40 hours to be there. There were even schools from say Brazil, Guatemala that had to saw their cars into pieces, package them on planes, ship them over and reassemble them on site. And a lot of these ultra efficient vehicles were custom made out of pieces of carbon fiber to make sure they were ultra efficient, nice and lightweight. And to give you context of how efficient these vehicles are, the world record is over 12,000 miles per gallon. And also to mention, there are two different vehicle categories, either prototype or urban concept. And these ones look more like traditional cars, smart cars, four wheels, and have actual moving parts like windshields, etc. And I got the chance to ask a ton of the students what they thought of the experience, kind of summed up in a couple words. Here's what they had to say. It's a great team experience. It's really great to be doing real engineering work with all your friends. Fast paced learning. I think we're gonna win. I have a good feeling about this year. Stressful, lots of late nights. Great learning experience for technology students. I've learned so much about engineering and teamwork and we're really excited to compete today. We're super excited to be here and uh, we're here to win. Extraordinary. We're really excited to race a new car this year. Bruce is gonna get it done. It's really cool to see everyone's innovative designs. We've been working for this the whole year and we can't wait to get it on track. The repairs never end. And it was just really cool to see the variety of different vehicles that were being built, the different designs, the aerodynamics. One Canadian school built theirs out of hockey sticks. I don't know how much more Canadian you could get. Shark decals, custom carbon fiber chassis. And remember, these are students that are building these from scratch. And I still struggle when I open up the back of my laptop. They are definitely way more on point and probably way techier than I am. And at the end of day one, we got to cruise around the track where the competitions would be taking place. I am now fully suited up in full racing attire. We're gonna go drive around the track, which is the same one the students will be going on to compete in the Eco Marathon. Got this. So to be ultra efficient, some of the drivers may only turn on their engines once per lap and kind of coast the rest of the way. The engine's off. And we just coast it. And rely on driving techniques and of course the arrow of their car to make it through. And if any of you are F1 fans, you know that it is all about the strategy and you definitely feel for the drivers who are cramped into these tiny cars for sometimes over 30 minutes driving around the same track and trying to make sure that their strategy is on point. On to day two, and this is what put the biggest smile on my face. We were given the chance to drive around on a different part of the track using some very fast cars. These were the KTM Expos. Essentially a two-seater Formula One car powered by Audi's two-liter engine. Those are meant for cars that are around 2,500, 3,000 pounds. This guy was 1,600, so almost half the weight. Completely carbon fiber chassis, which you are sitting right onto. Six-speed manual, this thing was buggying on the track. <laughs> close to two G's in the corner and it kind of just 
got the blood flowing. That's kind of the things that I live for. And I think I was grinning from ear to ear the entire time. And when you do the hot laps with the instructors, they push those things to levels that you didn't think were possible on a racetrack. And after that, we went to the opening ceremonies of the Eco Marathon. All the cars were cleared to go and ready to race. And then we got to see all of the cars starting to compete around the track. And the teams are competing to be the best of the Americas to participate in the world championships that are being held in London later this year. And winners from that get to check out the Ferrari HQ out in Italy, which I think is a once in a lifetime experience. Anyways, such a cool event to check out combines my interests both of tech and automotive. I think most of you guys can agree you're on the same wavelength. Really cool to see Shell supporting a brighter energy future and finding solutions for cleaner energy. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know that it was a tad bit different and hope to do more like these in the near future. We'll catch you guys then. Peace.